Hi, this is Russ Buecher from Controlman Icon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can set up keyboard shortcuts to control some commands within Controlman Icon. Normally most of the commands are all controlled by using the mouse, however you could set up shortcut keys to make this a little bit easier. And on some of the actions, such as adjusting focus and live view, it makes a lot of sense. So to bring up a shortcut key configuration screen, we just go to Trigger Menu, Keyboard Shortcuts. And here's a list of all the commands that we can do. And as an example here, we're going to set up a keyboard shortcut to connect, disconnect, and shoot. So to set up a command, you just double click on the entry here, and it brings up those three question marks. And so now you could type in any single key on your keyboard. You can't use any keyboard combination such as a control T. So you could just use a single key. And I'm going to use the letter C for connect and D for disconnect. And I'll use the space bar for shooting. Okay, now you could start using this right away. So I'm going to press C and you will watch here. You'll see that the camera starts to connect. And here we're connected, and after press D, disconnect. So I'll connect again, let's take a shot. Press the space bar, and you can see it takes a shot. I'll take another. So this just makes it a little bit easier for when you need to do a lot of these actions repetitively and without having to use the mouse, which can be really handy on laptops and netbooks where you might just have one of those little pointer mice, not have a real mouse along with you, uh, using the keyboard just makes it a lot easier. There's a bit of a gotcha here in that you need to be careful where you are when you do this. So for example, if I was editing my file name here, it's entirely possible that I may need to use a space here. I do not want the shutter to be triggered when I'm just trying to type in a file name. So when you see the cursor flashing in a field like this, the keyboard shortcuts are disabled. So if I press the space, you get a space and it doesn't shoot. Same up here. So when you're done editing, you can just tab out of this, click on something else, click on another window, and now you can use the space bar again. So that allows you to use these keys for editing as well as shortcuts. Okay, let's try some different ones. I'm going to bring up Live View. One of the challenges in Live View is to accurately set your focus. And there's several different ways to do this. You know, you can autofocus like this. And there's a keyboard shortcut for autofocus here as well. It's called Contrast AF. I'm just going to add a focus keyboard shortcut here. And I'm going to call this F for focus. Now I'd also like to be able to adjust the focus. So I'm going to set my focus right here. Near, I'll use my right arrow key. Left, a left arrow key. I like to be able to change my focus step. So I'll use my up arrow key and this for the down arrow key. And you can use any key that you like for this. Okay, let's give this a try. So first I'll try to autofocus and normally we would just click here to make that happen. And I had set F for autofocus. So press F and you can see that attempts autofocus. Now we can fine tune the focus and normally this is done by using the focus pad. Sometimes, you know, even in a case like this, you don't have a lot of screen real estate. So uh, instead, let's try using the keyboard shortcuts. Now I use the up and down arrow keys to change the step and you can see here it is changing. And I'm just gonna leave at a step of about 50 so it's easy to see the focus change. Now if I use my right arrow key, it's going to just nudge the focus a little bit use a left arrow key, it'll go back in the other direction. So this is very useful if you're trying to get that focus just right. And let's say I want it focused perfectly right here. And this is what autofocus will give us. And I'm just going to zoom in on it and you can give those hotkeys if you want to. And you look at that and you think, well, maybe that isn't as in focus as it could be. Well, I'll just use my arrow keys now to see if I can do a little better. Okay, that's not very good. That's not very good. I'll decrease my step using my up and down arrow keys and try focusing again. Increase my step a bit more. 
And here the focus is getting very sensitive at this zoom range. Yeah, that's looking a little better. And as you use the focus pad or the arrow keys, the focus box here, that red box, is going to disappear momentarily. Then it just comes back. Out of focus, getting a little better. Yeah, this is probably about as good as it gets right here. And I'm just going to zoom back out. And there we are. So now we're in focus and you can use your space bar to take a shot if you like. Let's take a look at the other keyboard shortcuts. And you can see we have some other options here for zooming in and out. And this one actually comes in handy if you're also doing a lot of work here with uh, focusing. This comes in handy for when you're setting up your focus so you can zoom in quickly and just confirm that your focus is correct. Feel free to use any keyboard shortcut that you like. You can also use a PowerPoint remote and we have another video called using PowerPoint remotes coming up and that will show you exactly how to use your PowerPoint remote as a remote for control my icon. Those little keys on your PowerPoint remote act just like a keyboard and uh, it really makes it easy to use control my icon. So that's it. Happy tethering.